There's a, oh dude, that's a big fish. That's a big fish on the Shimmer Shad, dude. What's up everybody, it's Dave here with Orange 22 Fishing. We are trying out the 10,000 fish Shimmer Shad 2.0 that just came onto the market just in the last few days, few weeks, whatever. I just got my hands on them from Carl's, today's video is sponsor, and I'm so stoked to try these things out. I think they're really gonna shine in the body of water that we're going to, but once again, I wanna thank Carl's for sponsoring today's video. They have the best selection of fishing stuff on the internet at the best prices, and they're actually doing something from May 17th through 23rd, which is a member appreciation week. So if you're a member or you just sign up for a trial to try Carl's out, you get amazing perks during that week. I participated in the last one that they had a couple months ago, and I got some amazing deals on there, even better than the regular deals that they have. They have a site-wide scavenger hunt where it's pretty fun and interactive and you can go through and like find dirt cheap deals on fishing stuff. And it's not just like overstock fishing stuff or anything like that, it's like legit Guggen baits, Biospawn, 10,000 fish, all kinds of really good stuff. So stuff that I use personally and I have confidence in and that you guys see me use in the videos here on the channel. But I highly recommend joining Carl's. Become a member at the link in my description below. I'm also going to include a link to purchase the Shimmer Shad 2.0 that I'm using here in today's video. And you guys can get in on all that action at the links in my description. But for now, let's get out to the pond. Let's try the Shimmer Shad 2.0 out. And hopefully we get some fish today. Let's get to it, guys. Got the Shimmer Shad in my hands here. We are ready to go. Got it tied on my bait caster. And it is looking mad, mad juicy right here. Thing is just gorgeous on the willow head from uh, Z-Man. It's like a little chatterbait jig head. And I think that action is just gonna be unreal in this water. It did just rain a little bit here at this pond, but the water here is typically clearer than most other places. So it should kind of even it out and make it like a normal water clarity. And uh, I think we're gonna get on some fish. There's big crappy big bass in here. So I'm excited to be fishing this with this new bait. Let's start fishing this thing right off of this little pipe here. This is the shallow end of the pond, but these jig heads I have used before and they tend to run pretty shallow, which is good. The uh, shimmer swimmer though, or the shimmer shad is completely new to me. And it's gonna take some getting used to just to get used to it, but it should be pretty straightforward. A little simple straight retrieve should do the trick. Oh wow, that thing looks awesome. That thing looks awesome. It's just like the name, it really shimmers in the water. You can see it reflecting and everything, even on a cloudy day. And the action is somewhat subtle, but I think it's gonna be really good. Ooh, cast amazing on this jig head too. It's gonna be interesting to see if these fish are gonna be up in the shallows today, if they're gonna be out in the deeper part off the dock. We'll find them either way. I mean, this is a pretty small pond. It's not like we're gonna have to work too hard to find the fish. So they're gonna get every chance they have to eat this thing. We're gonna get it in front of them at some point. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get bit. I'm looking in the shallows though. I'm seeing bluegills right here, up shallow, but I haven't seen any bass on these beds yet, at this pond anyway. So I'm thinking they're still gonna be out deep. There we go, got one. Heck yeah, first one on the Shimmer Shad. I think I figured out a retrieve that's gonna be working for us real well today. I'll show you guys what I was doing exactly in a second, but let's land this bass first. Heck yeah, guys. First one ever on the Shimmer Shad. And this retrieve that I'm giving it right now, ooh, we just spit it out. Gives it some really, really good action. All right, let's let them go, bass number one. Probably a solid like one and a quarter pounder. Real good fish to start the day, he slammed it too. Good fighter. But let me show you guys exactly what retrieve I was doing. So I was getting really good action with the lure when I was just straight retrieving it, but it wasn't getting the fish to bite. It looked good to me, but apparently not to the fish. So I changed it up a little bit. I was casting out just like this. I was letting it sink, then reel, let it stop. Reel, let it stop. Reel, let it stop. And then when that was happening, 
the action's just crazy. It, it just goes side to side really good. And you won't be able to see it too much right now because it's pretty windy and there's like a, a gloss on the water from the wind. But uh, trust me, the action is just like this and uh, that bass picked it up right on the fall when it was sinking down. So got something to work with and build off of now. They like to hang out right in this corner though and right in the other corner of the pond. There's two storm drains that flow into here and the fish like to sit on the rocks that are around the storm drains. So those are the two kind of areas I'm gonna be targeting with the shimmer shed. And we're gonna see if we can keep building on what we you know, did at our last pond and got one. See if we can get a couple more out of here. Gonna use the same exact retrieve. There's one first cast at this pond. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's go, man. He crushed it too. Right on the fall again. Shimmer Shad Baby's putting in work. Right on the windblown bank, right where that bass should have been, is exactly where he was. Another good looking fish, about a pounder. Let's let him go right down in here. That feels awesome. First cast at this pond. It's very, very promising. But he was like probably five feet offshore. This whole little area right here is like a shallow flat. It's only about two feet deep in most places. And the fish always pretty much hit top water here because it is scummy, like I said. But anytime I get to fish a subsurface lure here is kind of cool too. Water's really clear so they can see it, obviously. See all that shimmering on that shad. There's a, oh dude, that's a big fish. That's a big fish on the shimmer shad, dude. Oh my gosh, what a hit. What a hit. Oh, uh, maybe he's not as big as I thought, but he's pretty solid. Dude, I thought I had like a five pounder by the way he hit that thing. Good fish though. Best one of the day by far. Just crushed it too. It's a good two pounder, but man, <laughs> when he hit that thing and started running, he literally pulled drag off my bait caster. I got the drag pretty high too. And this is 15 pound mono, so I thought I had a giant. But that's a good fish anyway. And you wanna get away, don't you? I don't blame you. Get you back down there. Third bass. This pond is alive. And the shimmer shad is the bait to get it done right here. Absolutely love it. Now that bass did a little bit of damage to it. So I'm gonna re-rig it but I do have three more in that package I can put on if I have to. I knew this thing was gonna produce in the clear water. Just re-rigged it so we're ready to go again. Let's try to keep catching them. It's starting to rain a little bit here too. The wind is picking up big time. Storm is on the way in. I just checked the radar. Didn't even know it was gonna rain today, but there's a big one coming off the coast. So we gotta keep on getting it done before that rain really hits. There's another one, guys. <laughs> they are just tearing this thing up, man. Oh, he spit it right in my face. Another bout of two pounder. It's the first one I've had to get off, but they're just crushing this thing right now. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Just a quick release on you, that's all it was. And this retrieve, man, I got it dialed in now. I know exactly what they want. Another fish. Dude, every time it's on the fall. It's such a fun bite. Such a fun bite. This is a good one too. That's a good one. Man, they're tearing this thing up. Whoo! I love me some good bass fishing. That one ate it more than any of the other ones. I can't even see the lure down in there. Check how much he choked that bait. Look at that, just absolutely down in his throat. Easy pop out though, he's not bleeding or anything. Get your back buddy, feeding up before the storm. 
that's what they're doing. This is so much fun right now. I literally haven't even moved since I got here. Like I just come down and stand right in this spot. I have not moved and I've had four fish one at this pond, landed three. All in the same retrieve. All on the fall is when they're hitting it. We're having all the success on the one side here. I can't even wait till we get to the other side too. Cause I always do well on both of these sides and when one is on the other is usually two. So I don't think all the fish are gonna be over here. There's obviously a good amount here, but that other little pocket just like this, is probably gonna hold quite a few bass too. Maybe even some big crappie, you never know. I've caught them out of here before. Rain is really starting to pick up. You probably can't even see it on the water, but trust me when I say it's starting to come down a little bit. So we're gonna fish this area in the middle for a few casts. Then we're gonna head down there before we get rained out probably only have like 10 minutes before it really lets loose out here so let's try to get one or two more bass before we call it a day it's just so much fun right now though I might even fish in the rain oh look at that turtle right there what's up buddy where's the bass at Oh, just got tagged right there. What a hit, man. Whew. Look what he did to that thing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Pull it right on off of there. Let's see if he comes back for it. My uh, shimmer shad is pretty mangled. I don't know how he didn't get hooked. Freaking annihilated it. There he is. There he is. Is that the same fish that just tagged us a minute ago? I don't know. Doesn't really matter to me though. Ooh, these fish fight hard. They really do. That might be it for this particular shimmer shad because it is all torn up now, but it's caught what? Five or six bass? Well, I just got the hook out of there and it totally ripped my shimmer shad off. This bass is trying to like swallow it right now but that's what's left of it we'll dispose of it in the trash because it is all ripped up but there we go another bass on the shad just popping it so hard right now well guys i just checked my radar that big storm is knocking on the door of where i'm at right now and it's time for me to get out of here but in conclusion the shimmer shad is legit if you guys want to check them out you can get them at the link in my bio at carl's bait and tackle I'll leave that link in the description. Like I said, you can get the shimmer shad and you can get the jig head with the little uh, chatterbait blade that I was using today, both on Carl's, so check that out. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. But yeah, like I said, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.